Hello students, welcome to the SketchUp A tutorial on how to draw a pencil case. Let's open SketchUp 8. Before we begin, I want to make sure that you have the large tool set down the left hand side. So from view, go to toolbars and make sure you have a check mark beside large tool set. All right, let's do an initial save. Let's go to File, Save As. In the Save In window, I want you to click the down arrow and look for your student number, or your student number will appear on the left-hand side here. Click on your student number, and I would like you to call this file Pencil Case. So please call it, type in Pencil Case, and then hit Save. All right, let's use the magnifying glass, the zoom tool from the top toolbar. And I want you to place the magnifying glass over the origin. And I want you to scroll your mouse in and let's zoom in. Okay, let's zoom in quite a bit. All right, next tool I want to use is the rectangle tool. So let's click on the rectangle tool. And I want you to place one point in the origin click your mouse and start dragging outwards. Do not click your mouse again. Then I want you to type in 25 cm comma space 8 cm. And if you're stuck, have a look in the bottom right hand corner of the video, you'll see the dimensions in the dimension box. 25 cm comma space 8 cm. And then I want you to hit enter on your keyboard. And it will draw the dimensions, uh, a rectangle of the dimensions 25 centimeters by 8 centimeters. That will represent the outer dimensions of our pencil case. Okay, let's have a good look at this pencil case from above. So from the camera pull down menu, go to standard views and choose top. All right, so we're looking straight down on this rectangle, straight down on the girl actually. So let's use the magnifying glass, the zoom tool. Place our zoom tool on that rectangle and let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, let's use the arc tool from the top toolbar. Click on the arc tool. So what I want you to do is I don't want you to start too far away from one of the corners. So start in the top right hand corner and I'm going to go about this far and I'm going to click once and then I'm going to drag a diagonal line across. And then I'm going to click again, and then I'm going to pull my mouse outward to create that arc. And then I'm going to click a third time to kind of um, set that arc. If it didn't work the first time, try it again. All right, so what I want to do is I want to create the same arc on all four corners of this rectangle. But I want all the arcs to line up. So this is how to do it. So I'm going to go to the, the point down here where the arc started. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to have my mouse and hover over that point and I'm just going to drag my mouse across and then you should see a dotted red line and that will keep it's kind of like a ruler and it kind of goes all the way across. So that way I know that the point that I'm going to make is going to line up with the previous point. So I'm going to follow it all the way to the edge and then I'm going to click and then I'm going to drag across diagonal to get a red or pinkish line. I'm going to click a second time. And then I'm going to pull that arc out and click a third time to set the arc. Okay. All right. So let's use the same technique to line up the third arc. So this time I'm going to place my pencil on the top portion of the arc where the, where the top of the arc meets the top of the uh, rectangle. And I'm just going to pull my mouse down and I should see a very faint green dotted line. And that will mark the position of where I have to start the arc on the bottom line. So I'm going to click once. I'm going to go diagonal to get that red or pinkish line and click a second time. And then pull that arc out and click a third time. So now I have three of the arcs created. So now all I can do is I can click on this point here. And I'm going to drag, oops, that's not the wrong right point. And I'm going to drag a line across without clicking the mouse. I'm going to click once, I'm going to go down diagonal, get the pink or red line, click a second time, and then pull that arc out and click a third time. 
All right, so I've created four identical arcs in the four corners of this rectangle. So now I want to get a look at it slightly from the side. So I'm just going to use my orbit tool and slightly position it so I'm looking at that rectangle on an angle. All right, let's save it. So let's go to File, Save. All right, so what I want to do is I want to erase those corners because I only want the rounded edges for this pencil box or pencil case. So let's use the eraser tool. And all I want to do is I want to click on each line of that corner and it will erase the corner. So let's do that for all four corners. You got to click on two lines. This line is difficult to see because it's lined right up against that red horizon. But just make sure that you are erasing two lines for every corner. Okay, let's have a look at it. Very nice. Okay, so let's create some vertical height to this box. So now I want to use the push pull tool. I'm going to click on the push pull tool and I'm going to click once on the rectangle and start pulling up, but I don't want to click a, th a second time because I want to set the height. So I want you to type in 3CM and then hit enter. And that should set that height at exactly three centimeters tall. Excellent. All right. So let's go back to our top view. So let's go up to camera, standard views, and let's go to top. So we're looking right down on top of our pencil case. Now I'm just going to use the hand or the pan tool and then just kind of bring it more towards the center of my screen. Okay, let's use a new tool. Down the left-hand side, actually I see it in the top toolbar as well, it's called the Offset tool. So let's click on the Offset tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click once on the outside of this line, and then I'll click somewhere else on the outside of that line, and then what I can do is I can start pulling a shape inwards. So what I want to do is I want to create a very thin line or a thin kind of border around the top of this pencil case. So see how I only brought in the offset tool. An offset means you're creating the same shape but at a different size. So it may um, take you a few clicks to kind of activate it, but you'll get it. Okay. So I'm going to click again to kind of set my width. And there it is. You can have a look at it from a slightly side view. And if that was successful, let's try to do it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that middle shape with my selection arrow. I'm going to click on that middle shape. I'm going to use the offset tool. And I should be able to bring in one more shape. And this time I want to leave a little bit thicker border. Uh, when I say border, I mean this space right here between your offset and the original shape. Okay. Let's have a look at that. All right. I can click on the selection arrow and deselect. Click anywhere outside of my sketch to deselect it. Very good. Now, it may not be looking like a pencil case or a pencil box yet, but don't worry. There's still a few more details. Okay. I'm going to use the orbit tool and I'm going to look at it slightly from the side, but still at an angle. So what I want to do is, uh, around the corners here, you'll see that there are these lines. And I just want to kind of get rid of those lines. So I'm going to click on the Selection Arrow tool. I can't delete them. So what I want to do is I want to click on them and right-click on them and choose Hide. So what I want to do is I want to do for all the corners. So there will be two lines in every corner. So I've got to do that a total of eight times. So let me hide those lines. I'm going to keep going around the box. I'm going to click first on the line and then right click hide. I'm going to work my way around. All right, I've taken care of two corners. Let me go around to this side and do the same thing. Click on it, right click hide, and then click on it, right click hide. And then I have one more corner to do. I'm going to change tools to the selection arrow, click on it, right click hide and then click on it right click hide all right 
Very good. Let's go to my original kind of uh, viewpoint here, kind of from the bottom of the pencil case. Okay. All right. So let's give some dimensions to the top here. Let's make it stand out a bit. So let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So let's use the push pull tool. And what I want to do is I want to click on the innermost rectangle on the, on the lid or on the top of the pencil case. So I'm going to click once to activate the push pull tool and I'm going to start pulling it upwards. And I want you to type in two millimeters, two mm, and then hit enter. So that's only going to bring it up a little bit. Then what I want you to do is I want you to click on the outer layer. Click on it to activate the push pull tool, start pulling upwards and type in one millimeter and then hit enter. So if I zoom in, we should have a slight step pattern here where one layer goes up a little bit and then the innermost layer goes up a little bit as well. Okay. All right, let's zoom out. Let's save. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a little um, push button here to uh, allow the pencil box to open. All right, let's click on the rectangle tool, and I want to start the rectangle right on the corner here, the edge where the top meets the side. And I'm just going to create a push button here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my rectangle, and then I kind of want to have it centered from, top, from the top of the um, pencil box to the bottom of the pencil box. So if I orbit around, that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Now you can, if the rectangle you originally draw didn't work out, then just go to edit, undo, and then try another one. All right. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. Let's see if we can use that offset tool again. So let's click on the selection arrow tool and let's click on that rectangle that we've created. And then let's click on the offset tool and click on the edge and then we should be able to bring in another rectangle. So again, I don't want the border of that rectangle to be very thick. Very good. All right, let me deselect. So let's click on the selection arrow tool and then click somewhere outside. All right, I want to push this inner rectangle in. So I'm going to use the push pull tool. I'm going to click on the inner rectangle, start pushing it in. And I want to push it in two millimeters there. So we have a little bit of a, a place where your finger can go in so we can open the lid. Okay. All right, let's zoom out a bit. Let's have a good look at what we've drawn so far. Maybe it's a good time to save it. So let's go to file, save. All right, that's looking fantastic. Okay, so we're going to add three colors to our box here. So let's go to the paint can. Let's click on the paint can or the paint tool. And if it's not already set to colors, it's easy to set it. Click the down arrow and go to colors. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to choose a base color. So a base color means the primary color of this pencil case. So I'm going to choose a blue. And I'm going to choose a darker blue here. So I'm going to choose this blue color. What is that? I01. So it doesn't matter. You can choose any color that you wish. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to start with this side, this side of the pencil box here. Okay. And then I'm going to continue around. I'm going to color the corners. And I'm going to use my orbit tool. And then I'm going to go back to my paint can. It will remember the color I use. Let's click on this panel and then this corner, and then this side. And I'm going to go orbit around so I can see this side. I'm going to switch back to the paint can, paint that corner, paint the top, paint this corner. OK. All right. Next, I want to paint the bottom of it. Let's not forget that in SketchUp 8, we can see an object from all vantage points from all perspectives. So let's paint the bottom. Okay. 
And then what I want to do is I want to paint inside this rectangle. So I'm going to click blue one more time in here. All right. So let's have a look at my pencil case from the top. So what I want to do is I want to carry this blue onto the top, onto this outer level here, this outer level. All right, so that should be pretty easy to color. Let me go back to the paint can and click on this little part. And that should follow all the way around because it's unbroken, it's uninterrupted. Okay, next. I want to choose a different color for this level here. So again, you be creative. I want you to click on any color you want that will go well with that first color that you chose. So maybe what I'll do is I will choose uh, something a little bit lighter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint that level. Now, because it's a step up, there's a tiny gap between the, the level that you just colored and the previous level. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to zoom in so that you can color that little rise, that little thickness area as well with the same color. So it's, you got to get your mouse right in there. And again, you've got to follow that level all the way around. So remain zoomed in. Use your pan tools, use your orbit tools so you can get at all the sides. So I'm just going to orbit around here and I'm going to pan so that I can see this part here to color and this part. When you're zoomed in really far, it's easy to paint because uh, your mouse doesn't have to be that precise. If you stay zoomed out, you have to be really precise with your mouse control, which I know many of you are. Okay, so I'm going to continue painting that little rise, that level that goes up. And it just takes a little bit of time. It's not that difficult. You just have to maneuver around your 3D sketch. Uh, I'm going to continue here. And I've gone all the way around. Okay, so the last step in, on the top is to do the exact same thing with the previous step, but with your third color. So I'm going to choose the third color. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe I'll choose this nice purple here. And I'm going to color the top. And then what I have to remember is, I have to remember to color that rise, that little thickness where that third layer rises above. So let me uh, quickly do this. While you're, you're coloring yours, you can just listen to me coloring mine. You probably don't have to press pause because we're working on the same step at the same time. And by now you know what to do. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm going to click and color this last bit. I've got one more viewpoint to look at. Zoom in a little bit. Okay and color my last bits. Okay, let's have a look. All right, let's zoom out a bit. Now, we've got one more part to do, and that is that little uh, finger opening for us to uh, open the pencil box. So let me zoom right in on that and maybe change the angle a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to make it look like it's got like this metal border around it. So instead of colors in your paint can, let's click the down arrow and choose metal. Now you can experiment with any of these metals. I'm just going to choose this one, the metal aluminum. And what I want to do is first I want to color the face that faces outward. Then I have to remember that I have to be zoomed in to see it. Even though it's gray, it's a metal finish, everything looks like it's colored, but it's not. So what I have to do is I have to go in and color these inside parts. And if I can just use the orbit tool, there's four inside edges that you also have to color. There, and then don't forget the top. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to remain zoomed in this one part here. All right. So for our last step, let's get rid of the paint can tool. We don't need it anymore. Down the left hand side, look for the 3D text tool. I want you to click on the 3D text tool and where it says uh, enter text, I want you to type in 
staples. Now I found uh, that this Arial Nero is actually very similar to the font in the logo for Staples, but you can experiment with different things, and I've bolded it. So again, when we ever, when we ever we put the writing of uh, something on an object, it's always guesswork. So for the height, I'm going to choose uh, how about one centimeter, and then I'm going to click place. So what I want to do is I want to place that logo right underneath that um, that opening or that push button to open my pencil case. So I'm going to click once so that I can pop it right there, and it should be there for good. Now if you want to color it the same color uh, of the rest of the pencil box, or if you really want it to stand out, you can click on your paint can, you can go back to colors, and then you can choose whatever color you like. If I paint it in silver here, it should look pretty good. Maybe something darker like that. That will look good. Or if you really want it to stand out, choose a really, really bright color. Now, I could have chosen white right here. White will really stand out because I chose a darker background color. Okay, so let's zoom out and let's have a look at what we've created. And let's orbit around so that we can see how nice that pencil box is. Okay, well, that's it. Let's uh, do a final save, file, save. So this concludes this tutorial. Please call Mr. Ueda over to show him your completed sketch of a pencil box or pencil case. Thanks for watching. Bye.